What's up guys, this is Sunny, back with another video. Now guys, I've been sick for almost a month right now. I had this Be Quiet Pure Loop 2 FX series uh, AIO in my room for almost a month right now. I've been so sick, I couldn't sit on this chair. Like, I'm still sick, but I'm feeling a lot better. So, I wanted to make this video today and share with you guys this product because I personally think Be Quiet Pure Loop 2 uh, FX, the 240mm AIO here, it's pretty cool because it does come with 220mm LED RGB fans, it does come with LED RGB on the CPU cooler, and also it does come with a hub. Now, I have the 240mm here, they also have the 280mm and 360mm. Now, Be Quiet did launch two other products, Be Quiet Pure Base 500FX case. Now, the only difference between the 500DX and the FX, the case design is same. Only difference, the FX series case comes with four LED RGB fans and a hub and some other stuff. I don't have the case here, so I can't really test and share with you guys, but I'll try to get the case. They also did launch one of the budget uh, CPU air cooler, uh, Be Quiet Pure Rock uh, FX uh, cooler. And the cooler, I don't know the exact pricing, but the cooler does come with LED RGB fan. For more information, please check Be Quiet website. I think there is a $30 promo code still active. I'm not sure the FX series product. And Be Quiet currently celebrating their 20th anniversary, so they decided to launch the FX series product. And they also, I believe they also have uh, the $30 promotion going on. So please check their website. There'll be a link in the video's description. Now, today real quick, I wanna share with you guys uh, this cooler here, Be Quiet Pure Loop uh, 2, um, FX series 240 millimeter AIO with my $500 budget gaming PC. Yes, I'm still running AMD Ryzen uh, 5 3600 CPU. I still didn't upgrade because uh, I'm planning on um, getting the, the 7000 series uh, CPU and the motherboard, that's why I didn't upgrade. So guys, I will test this cooler with my um, Ryzen 5 3600 CPU and see how well this cooler perform. Now, real quick, let me just uh, do a quick unboxing for you guys so you guys can see uh, what this product comes with. And after that, I'll install this cooler and show you guys how this cooler performs. Let's jump in. Now, this cooler does work with latest and greatest Intel and AMD uh, sockets. This cooler will work with Intel 1700, uh, LGA 1700, um, 1200, 2066, uh, 1150, 1151, 1155, and 2011. And also this cooler will work with, yes, M5 and M4. All right, so we have here the user manual uh, like I told you guys, they do have uh, 280 millimeter uh, and 360 millimeter AIO. All right, let me show you guys the hub. Uh, here we have the. Okay, so we have the hub right here for the LED RGB, as you guys can see. You can install up to one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can install up to six fans, okay? And also this hub have uh, six uh, RGB, RGB connection also, okay? So you can install six Be Quiet um, LED RGB fans with this hub. And then you can control um, the fan um, LED colors and stuff uh, from your uh, motherboard uh, LED uh, RGB software, RGB software. I don't know why I'm keep saying LED RGB. All right. Uh, here we have some screws, okay, for installation, okay. 
And now let me show you guys the fans. All right, so we have here Be Quiet Light Wings 120 millimeter uh, fan. Does have LED RGB ring right here, LED ring. And also this fan max speed is around 2500 RPM. And the build quality is really good. One thing with Be Quiet products, they always use quality material for their products. So this plastic doesn't feel cheap at all, you know, I really like that. And we have one more fan right here, so you can see, okay. And the fan have um, a PWM plug right here. You can plug this to your uh, hub. The hub uh, comes with the cooler and also a three pin LED RGB plug right here. All right guys, so Be Quiet also included this coolant with the Pure Loop 2FX cooler. So let's put it this way from now to another year, maybe your uh, cooler is not performing well. You can add, um, you know, a little bit more coolant. So that's really cool, you know, just by having this option, um, I feel comfortable buying this product because I can actually add the coolant and I'll show you guys, it's really easy to add the coolant. Like you literally have to like um, unscrew like one tiny screw and then you can just add the coolant. Now you don't have to add any coolant right now. Okay, so don't do that. Just keep this somewhere safe. Now here we have some, okay, screws. All right, here we have Intel and AMD installation kit. All right, guys, so let's look at the area real quick. So here we have the 240 millimeter radiator. This radiator is not all that big. As you guys can see, 240 millimeter. If you want something a little bigger, you can go with 280 millimeter. Or if you want the biggest one, they have 360 millimeter. Uh, depends on your case. My case is not all that big. So I'll be sticking with this 240 millimeter. Okay. And as you guys can see here, they have the pump on the tube, the hose. And also uh, these tubes are braided. I really like that and good quality also. And then here you guys can see the CPU block. Got the Be Quiet uh, branding on the top. Nice and polished. Okay, and then uh, this CPU block also have LED RGB. Okay. And then here we have the CPU plate. Okay. Now, let me tell you guys the connection. So the CPU block have a three pin LED RGB plug right here. And the pump have a PWM four pin plug right here. So you can actually plug this um, plug to your motherboard PWM, like the pump header, like some of this motherboard, new motherboards comes with. I think, yes, my motherboard also have that I believe actually no I don't have the pump plug but you can plug this to like your CPU uh, fan yeah header and here you guys can see this um, the refill screw I was talking about like I don't know if I can show you guys like right here okay so basically all you have to do uh, unscrew this screw right here and then you can easily add some uh, coolant here and then just close it back that's about it so from now to maybe another year you know if you if you see the cooler is not performing well you can always add some coolant all right so let's jump in let's install this cooler and after that i'll show you guys um the temperature let's go all right guys i just removed my stock cooler right here as you guys can see and um, i'm about to install be quiet pure loop to fx now currently i'm running um ryzen uh 5 3600 cpu i still didn't upgrade because this cpu is 
good enough for my work purpose like you know video editing gaming so i'm okay with that so i have the cooler right here pure look to fx um i'm about to install and the installation is really simple you guys can see here uh m4 brackets okay and it comes with a spacer so basically you have to install four spacer then use the m4 bracket with the screws and that's about it you know you just you just mount it and that's it so let's jump in and let's do that So now we'll install the CPU block. All you need two bracket, the M4 brackets, uh, some spacer, and the screws right here. All right, so the cooler installation is successful. As you guys can see here, the block is installed. Radiator is installed also. Now let's just do some wiring. We need to install that hub. All right guys, so I just installed the hub as you guys can see. Now don't judge me because I did install this uh, hub behind the um, M4 uh, CPU bracket right here. Uh, shouldn't um, have any issue. You guys can see there's two cable coming from the left side fan. Uh, one PWM uh, fan plug and a three pin LED RGB plug and then also we have uh, three plugs coming from the right side fan and the CPU block so we have two uh, LED RGB plugs and a PWN fan plug all right you can install up to six fans okay and you can plug up to six uh, three pin LED RGB plugs here so this hub is really good and we can um, you know change the color and everything with uh, you know, the motherboard software depends on your motherboard now there's three plugs left okay so the one we have here for the power uh, SATA plug the metal SATA plug I will plug this one to this power supply female SATA plug right here and then we have two more plugs right here uh, 3 pin uh, LED RGB plug and a uh, fan plug right here. Now both of these uh, plugs I have to um, plug this to the motherboard uh, LED RGB 3 pin header and the fan header. Uh, yeah, cable management is not all that. You can see the cable right here. The overall lighting it looks pretty good. Let me show you guys the back real quick. You guys can see the back. Cable management is not all that, but I can live with that. I just finished installing Be Quiet Pure Look 2 FX water cooler. Now I have my $500 budget gaming PC here. Uh, I have a mid tower case. Uh, currently I'm running AMD Ryzen 3 3600 CPU. So it's older generation CPU. Now, you guys can see this color looks really nice inside this small case so if you have a smaller case like mid tower uh the one i have you guys can see i have a matx motherboard that's a small build and the color looks really nice i have the radiator uh, installed on the top i can install on the side but uh, i think on top um you know you should install your radiator on the top that's how you should do it you guys can see the CPU block does have the LED RGB. Now I have the color set to static color. Now I'll show you guys, I'll change the color. And you guys can see the pump right here, kind of quiet, okay? You guys can hear the fan while idling. All right, now let me close the side panel. All right, you guys can hear the fan noise with the side panel closed and I'm like five inches away from the case right now. And also I have a Cinebench R23 open 
and let me show you guys idle temperature so the idle temperature right now showing around 38.5 celsius okay and ambient room temperature is uh, around 32 celsius i believe yep all right now i didn't overclock the cpu i have like you know cpu running uh, regular 4.2 gigahertz now let me run cinemage r20 real quick so you guys can see the temperature under load all right so currently i'm running cinevench r23 you guys can see temperature under load 72 celsius i do have the side panel closed right now as you guys can see you guys can see me now i have the phone like five inches away from the case so you guys can hear the fan noise now this cooler is really really quiet cinevent r23 still running load temperature right now 73 celsius almost 74 Load temperature is around 74 Celsius and we are done. You guys can see multi-core score is around 9,405. All right. Again, the idle temperature is around 41 Celsius right now. 42. All right, 41. All right. Now, let me open the side panel real quick. You guys can hear the fan noise while idling. And let me open uh, RGB Fusion from uh, Gigabyte. If you have a different motherboard, uh, you can download the RGB software uh, from their website. All right, now I can change color. I have the color set to like uh, white or purple, okay? Static, um, I can change that to pulse. As you can see, you can change this to flush. Uh, double flush. All right, that's double flush. Okay. Uh, color cycle. Okay, so basically changing to different different colors. And then you have uh, music, random, basically it will just flash random colors. And then you have game, so I don't know, maybe you can set up some game on the list and stuff. So I'll just switch back to static. All right. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any question, leave your question in the comments section. Um, I'll be more than happy to answer you guys. And I personally think Be Quiet Pure Loop 2FX is a great budget cooler. Uh, definitely check out their website for more information. And that should be it. See you guys next one. Peace.